Now this is the Explorer POTA 33 carbon fiber mast. And what I'm trying to figure out here is if there's a significant difference in antenna performance between a fiberglass mask and a carbon fiber mask. Because we all know somebody who thinks carbon fiber masks don't work worth the crap because they're carbon fiber and therefore somewhat, uh, you know, conductive, not RF transparent kind of deal. So I've never used a carbon fiber mast, but we're gonna give this one a shot. And what we're gonna see is I'm gonna run Whisper for two hours on 10 and 20 meters on the fiberglass mask, and I'm gonna run Whisper on two hours on 10 and 20 meters for the carbon fiber mast. So here is the Whisper test that I ran with the fiberglass Poseidon mast. And what I did was set this up to run automated on 10 meters and 20 meters for two hours. And this is the results I got. So that is not bad results. That's the entire continental United States, basically South America. I got all the way down to New Zealand, ZL. Here is our testing with the carbon fiber mast. The only difference I see here basically is that I didn't get anything in New Zealand. Of course, that could simply be band conditions or time. I still got the entire continental United States, South America, and one over into Southern Europe, it looks like, somewhere around Greece or Turkey. I don't see, uh, I don't see anything wrong with that, and I don't see that it diminished any of the functionality of the antenna by having it on a carbon fiber mast.